السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Brothers and sisters I am talking to you now in Arafah day 9 of the Zil Hijza 1442 uh, it is uh, 19 of July 2021 it's Arafah day and I am in Arafah now Hujaz uh, are there uh, Alhamdulillah Allah allowed me to be here as one of the servants for Hajj people as engineer and not as a Hajj here uh, but this place holy place uh, uh, holy day one of the best days uh, uh, in the year for Allah so I'm greeting all of you Muslims uh, brothers and then my message to you from Arafat today uh, to Philippines with love uh, and for also our brothers Christian brothers and others you know uh, I will not go to details of uh, you know Hajj and how is Hajj and all of these things but my message is simple and short uh, that you know, I advise our brothers and sisters, the Muslims, to read Surah Al-Hajj today. And how this Surah, uh, starting by Ya Ayyuhal Nas, Taqu Rabbakum, Inna Zalzalat Al-Sa'ati Shay'un Azim. You know, make Taqwa, fear Allah, because the time the end will be and uh, on the on the doom day will be big big uh, matter you know allah explain more that yawma tarawnaha when you see it huh tudhil tudhil kullu murda'atin amma arda'a the mother who are feeding the baby will leave her baby huh and tada kullu dhati hamlin hamlaha and the one who's pregnant put down her pregnancy and you see you see the, the people like drunk but they are not drunk huh? Allah is may Allah protect us and let us in peace and secure in this day it is started like this and the end of the surah huh? you know وأقيموا الصلاة وآتوا الزكاة واعتصموا واعتصموا بالله هو مولاكم فنعم المولى ونعم النصير. Be united, you know. Be united. Make salah, make zakah, uh, and be united. And in the middle of, of this uh, surah, and you have to learn from this surah a lot of things. Even for the people who are suffering because they are out, being kicked out of their houses, just they are saying, uh, Rabbuna Allah, Allah is our Lord. You know, and لِيَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَنْصُرُ Allah will give the victory to these people. We give victory for Allah by following Him, by following His way. You know, it's a beautiful uh, uh, surah. Uh, all of us must read it, especially in this day. You know, so the point is, huh? what I want to say to my brothers and sisters, is it to be united? This is the way to be united, that we are all the time accuse each other, catching mistakes of the others, try to let me right and the other is wrong you know we are suffering a lot from this so i'm at i am my call today from arafa day from this place the place who are as the scholar said the the uh, some of the scholars said it, it is uh, about arafa uh, and why it's named arafa 
One of it that Adam and Eve met each other here, met each other here when they went down from heaven. So everyone in one place and then they meet together here. So here the humanity started, you know. Of course, there are some other story about naming Arafat that people know each other here coming to Hajj from every nation, from all nationalities, you know, to meet. And some said it is Arafat because people knows and acknowledge their sins to Allah uh, and pray for forgiveness. Anyway, here a place remind us by Judgment Day, by when people will gather all wearing like a coffin, you know. It's like a coffin, you know, it, we are without pocket, without anything. And equal, all of us is equal why we are trying to to let ourselves not equal why we we try to let somebody higher than the other by thinking that he knows better thinking that islam is with him not for with the others so i'm asking the scholars help help to to teach your students to be united to teach your student the fiqh of disagreement to understand how to, to disagree Islamically, you know, and how we can accept the differences in, in the schools of thoughts in Islam, because there are fixed things in Islam and variable things, acceptable to have a different idea between person and the other, you know. So, uh, Allah in the Quran say, you know, be united together. And I advise the, the, the brothers and sisters who I call have some knowledge about Islam and then they assign themselves like big scholars, assign themselves like ustaz and they start to accuse the other without ilm, with a very limited ilm. This destroying a lot of things, you know. So I know your intention, I know you have a good heart, I know that you are happy to, yes, teach the people but don't divide them. Dividing them is coming from the ego inside yourself, not for Allah. If you are serving Allah by your way, your, your knowledge, by your madhab, by anything, you serve Allah, not serving the madhab itself. It is a means to reach Allah, not the goal itself, not the objective itself. The objective is Allah. Isn't we approach Allah by insulting the others? So, brothers and sisters, Muslims, you know, this including tribalism, including any fanatism, you know. And for non-Muslims, brothers and sisters, here are the peaceful. Here is the real Islam. Huh? I will not uh, talk and say I am defending Islam. Islam is not a terrorist. No, Islam is not a terrorist, it's, it's something true. If, you, if people try to know or try to convince themselves something else or deceive themselves, they know who fabricate all of this. But here, where humanity started, here where the all religion, Abraham, huh? yani in Surah Al-Hajj, here the place where Abraham uh, is bawa'na uh, Ibrahim, uh, you know Allah show Abraham this place and tell him call people for Hajj Abraham Abraham the father of, of all because many think that Islam is come from nowhere Islam is the continue religion the same religion of since Adam till Muhammad so this is the call of Abraham people keep coming keep, keep uh, make Hajj you know because COVID of course the numbers are less uh, so uh, he, Abraham called the people for Hajj and tell them come as a brothers and sisters from all over you know to pray for one God Know? And let us review the first thing don't make a partner for me as a creator. So 
brothers and sisters, don't lose the chance. Again, I'm, I'm repeating it. To learn, to, to, to have a conversation, you have a dialogue, we have a contact with the Muslims, the real Muslims, which are many, they are the majority. <laughs> you know, the, the, this making mess by the name of Islam are very minority but they are occupied all the media. So the real Muslims are these people, are these peaceful people, are these people who are coming, nothing, you know, like a coffin, wearing coffin saying, oh Allah, we have nothing in this life. We are a passenger. We are just a passenger coming to you. Oh Allah, accept us as a brothers and sisters, you know, here, if somebody fight with another, he will not accept Hajj. Even fight, even insult, even... So you can find them in peace and, and, and in, in a very nice uh, uh, manner and, and uh, peaceful, alhamdulillah. And from all over the world, all over the world. So it is a big example, even for you non-Muslim, to learn from it. Take the chance, learn from the Muslim. It's not something bad to learn from others, you know. Learn, learn that Islam is really uh, calling for, for humanity values uh, and the human values and which we lack it around the world. L lack it. Uh, going back to it, go to our fitra, to our uh, nature. So, I, I, I don't want to take a lot of time. It is a very uh, precious day. We spent it in pray for Allah all over the world. It doesn't matter to be an Arafat, to be accepted. You can be anywhere. And inshallah, inshallah, peace be on all of us and peace in our hearts. Because peace is starting in our hearts, then it will reflect to Philippines and everywhere in the world, you know, uh, you know how special uh, Philippines for me, for that I'm always giving messages, but this message is for everybody, inshallah, and maybe I will make a message, other message, so other brothers and sisters will not blame me always, why only message to Philippines? Okay, brother and sister, I love you all and from Arafah, may Allah accept from us all, you know, all our good deeds and forgive us and uh, for, for all our sins and erase all our sins and let us meet in Jannah, all of us, inshallah. Hope I can see you soon in Philippines and salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And don't forget to say, Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik, Labbaik la sharika laka Labbaik, Inna alhamda wa na'mata laka wal mulk, la sharika laka. Salaamu alaykum.